So uh, last time we ranked all of these guys. Be sure to go watch part one. But we have definitely not finished this list yet. The Philippine Eagle. It's got a crazy hairstyle going on. It is one of the world's rarest birds. They were previously known as monkey eating eagles. <laughs> Although they do eat monkeys, they enjoy eating a wide variety of animals of varying sizes. Uh oh guys, I know we like monkeys on this channel. It is the rarest bird. And for that reason, I think it's pretty neat. The stick insect. I used to love these as a kid. We used to have little ones and we would just pick them up and they'd be friends. It may have been a one-sided relationship. There's so many different types. I just found this article. I would like to unlearn what I've just learned about stick bugs. Put them at the top where they deserve to be. The mantis shrimp. Oh my god. It's like an acid trip come to life. Mantis shrimp are incredibly strong and use their sharp claws to hit their prey with the force of a bullet. He's actually neither a shrimp nor a mantis. He's not a shrimp or a mantis. Why do people classify things as things when they aren't that thing? <laughs> oh my god. They can also see 12 channels of color. I think this is the first one where I really do not know what category to put it in. Controversial, I know. I'm kinda scared it'll come after me if I don't put it in that category. Holy crap. The lyre bird. They're able to mimic any sound, including the vocalizations of other animals and the sounds of machinery and human life. Even the original is fooled. The foresters and their chainsaws working nearby. I think I'm just in a really good mood today because this one's really cool. We're starting off strong and now we go to worm lizard. <laughs> Has no external ears, no eyes, and no limbs. In the United States, worm lizards live in Florida. Makes sense. Florida man be like. Wait, some of them do have feet. So at what point is it just classified as a snake? I'm also stuck on this one. I'm like, would I befriend him? Probably. But I'm also uncomfortable. Anything that's like fleshy and pink, I'm like, um, <laughs> maybe not. The Saiga antelope. Kind of looks like that one guy from Star Wars. Watto. The junk dealer and human trafficker. Yes, <laughs> that's the one I'm talking about. This is really surprising. I have not even watched most of the Star Wars movies and I somehow remember that guy existed. Don't ask how my brain works, I don't know. The sizable, bulbous nose of the Saiga antelope is believed to filter out the dust of its semi-desert environment in Central Asia. They're kind of cute. I think it'll go in the pretty neat category. The sloth is, is just the sloth. Probably the most generic one on our list so far. They move only about 40 yards per day and spend 15 to 20 hours a day sleeping. This is because of their unusually low metabolic rate. They can't really see, they can't really hear, so they rely on touch and scent to locate their food. I'm very surprised that sloths have even survived this long, to be honest with you. But they've always been one of my favorite animals, mainly because they're, they're relatable. I would befriend a sloth in a heartbeat. The Paku is an omnivorous fish that sports one very unsettling characteristic, human-like teeth. And they're bigger than piranhas. Of course they are. There has to be. Is it a bigger piranha out there? Why does it need those? Just no. Uh-uh. I'm putting them down to the sleep paralysis category. The hummingbird hawk moth. They are moths that have evolved to resemble hummingbirds. That is so cool. Guys, I hate to say it, but I like the moth too. The satanic leaf tail gecko. What is satanic about this little guy? <laughs> it is called satanic because it has a pair of devilishly pointy ridges over its eyes. They hang from branches to avoid detection from predators by disguising themselves as leaves. Oh, but he's cute though. It almost has the body of a chameleon. I would likely befriend this. Satanic gecko. <laughs> the Marabo Stork. I'm not gonna make the joke. Golgur sack. 
red golger sack. Nice. <laughs> Hunting animals fleeing grass fires. Wow, they just wait for these animals to run for their lives and start chomping. Typical golger sack behavior. It kind of looks like a regular stork, but like if he was like an 82 year old man that retired and took up serial killing. No, I will not elaborate. It makes me uncomfortable. The peacock spider. As long as I don't see it moving around, I think it's cute. They have the capability to see the full visible spectrum as well as UV light. So it does like a mating ritual thing. It is very close to the, yes, I would try to befriend it section. I just, I, I don't know. The Southern cassowary. It's a true mohawk it's got going on here. Cassowaries possess a hollow fan-shaped horn on their heads that is reminiscent of prehistoric times. They can be up to six feet tall. Holy crap. It very much reminds me of a dinosaur, which I think is pretty neat. The Bilby. <laughs> Whoever named this animal. It was meant to be... They have a pouch like kangaroos where they carry their young. It's almost like a shrew and a... Uh... Like a chinchilla or something. It's like very much in between I would try and befriend it and this is kind of a normal dude. I'm thinking more normal dude. The giant salamander. Oh wow. The largest species of giant salamander can reach up to six feet long. This is a, this is a big boy. <laughs> Come on, who wouldn't befriend this guy? I think I would get along with him. Yes, I am going to China, and I'm going to talk to the biggest salamander that I can find. What are you gonna do? Stop me? This guy might be able to- <laughs> Oh my god. The gharial. Male gharials can reach up to 20 feet long. Gharials don't attack people, but sometimes they do eat dead bodies. Uh, In some cultures- <laughs> How did they get that information? I will put it in sleep paralysis demon. The orchid mantis. It helps them hide from predators and allows them to go unnoticed by their prey until it's too late. I think it's very cool. I would befriend this man. The babarusa. <laughs> I look so depressed. Scientists still aren't totally sure why babarusas have tusks in the first place. When babarusas fight, they stand on their hind legs and box with their front legs. But battles between males <laughs> look more like a dance. Than a deadly fight. They're doing the tango. It's kind of cool, but it's honestly just it's just a pig with unnecessary tusks. The scorpion fly? No. It looks like the stinger of a scorpion, but it's actually just used in courtship displays. Thank God. <laughs> I thought there were flying scorpions for a second. Ooh. 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 No, thank you. It's basically the same reason why I rated the shoe bill the way I did. I just, I can't look at it. <laughs> the Kakapo. They're flightless forest dwelling parrots. I would definitely befriend him. He looks so nice. I would tell him all of my secrets. He could also have my social security number, my address. He could have all the passwords to all of my YouTube accounts. He can have it all, honestly. I trust this man with my life. Now I know it's the last one on that list, but I I think I might want to raid a couple more. Remember the frog mouth from last episode? The patu bird. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> this one obviously goes up here. Some people were actually commenting about this last episode. Back when I said the okapi was the last living relative of the giraffe, the pronghorn is also a living relative. It's got some very interesting coloration though. They are the fastest land animal in North America. He's very fast, but he definitely doesn't compare to other animals on this list. Oh god. I'm honestly sorry. It is a parasitic fish. The lamprey uses its rough tongue to rasp away the fish's flesh so it can feed on its host's body. One lamprey kills about 40 pounds of fish each year. Fuck the shit, man. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. See you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and be cool and happy and awesome. And also let me know if you want a part three. All right, bye.